If you're looking for a natural or plant-derived alternative to help stimulate hair growth because you're fed up using pharmaceutical options like finasteride, dutasteride, or minoxidil, you're in luck. We're going to talk about Redenzil, Capixel, and Procapil. These are three alternatives that I think might work really well to help stimulate your hair growth. At the end of the video, I'm also going to give you my recommendations for products that have these ingredients. For those of you who are new, my name is Dr. Ross Kopelman. I am a hair transplant surgeon. I talk a lot about hair loss and hair transplants on this channel. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and let's get started. First up is Redenzil, and I got a lot of questions about this one. It is derived from a botanical extract. However, it is not considered completely natural because it has some biotechnology derived molecular structures that are incorporated. Two of these molecules, DH. QG and EGCG2 play a key role in helping to stimulate stem cell activity at the hair bulge. There's also glycine and zinc, and both of these are important for structural support for the hair follicle. Now, there was a study conducted by the manufacturer looking at about 80 plus male patients who had androgenetic alopecia using Redenzil over a three month period, applying it twice a day, topically to the scalp. And what they found was a 10% increase in hair density. Now, I do want to preface though, that if you're using minoxidil, 5% foam, and you're using this over a six month period, you should see a 20 to 40% increase in hair density. So that's just something to think about, whether you wanna use Redenzil or a topical minoxidil, it's totally up to you, but I just want you to be aware of the fact that the Redenzil might not be as effective as using a topical minoxidil form. Next up is Procapil, and I find this one to be very interesting because it's made up of three key ingredients. The first ingredient that's vitally important is oleonic acid, and this happens to be derived from olive oil leaves, go figure, and it acts as a natural DHT blocker. Now we have spent a lot of time on this channel talking about how DHT, dihydrotestosterone, is a major contributor for miniaturization of hair follicles. So if you can use a natural way to decrease the amount of DHT impacting your hair, well, that is a great, great thing. The next ingredient is apigen. And apigen works by improving blood circulation to the scalp, which is important for bringing oxygen and nutrients to the hair follicle, which again is important for hair growth. And finally, the third ingredient is a peptide, which is combined with biotin, which helps to improve structural support and anchoring to the scalp. So all three of these ingredients within Procapil are vitally important and get me excited as to their potential to help promote new hair growth and prevent hair loss. And finally, we get to Capixel. Capixel is made up of two key ingredients, a biomimetic peptide, which helps to upregulate extracellular matrix activity, which is important to make more collagen and collagen helps to strengthen our follicular structures. And then there's a red clover extract, which potentially works as a natural DHT blocker. And we spoke about how DHT is a major contributor to hair loss. And it's also possible that the red clover extract also helps to reduce any inflammatory conditions on the scalp. Now, what I want you to understand, whether you're using Redenzil, Procapil, or Capixel, these different natural plant-derived botanical extracts have not really been aggressively studied in the lab, have not really been studied in clinical trials. But regardless of that, I do find that these ingredients are safe. I do find that some of my patients prefer to use these different solutions to address their hair loss because they don't want to use pharmaceuticals. And I absolutely support patients using these, these as options. So let's now talk about what potential items you can purchase that have these ingredients. If you're thinking about using these ingredients to address your hair loss, my recommendation is to start with The Ordinary. Now The Ordinary has Redenzil in it as well as Procapil. The next item, this is iRestore, and iRestore has both Redenzil, and in this case, it has Capixel. If you want all three ingredients, you can use another product called The Minimalist, and that has Redenzil, Capixel, and Procapil. With all of these items, though, you have to be consistent. You're not going to see results if you just use it for a day or one week. My recommendation is to apply this a minimum of once a day, either in the evening time or in the morning time, and really make sure to rub it into the area 
where you're experiencing hand loss and make sure to wash your hands afterwards. Now, sometimes you can find Redenzo Capixel or Procapil within shampoos, but they're not going to be as effective as using these droplers. I hope that this was helpful in helping you figure out whether you should incorporate Redenzo Capixel or Procapil into your hair loss routine. If you happen to be using any of these ingredients, I wanna know about your experience. So share that in the comments below. And as always, I'm here on your journey to help you address your hair loss.